Hello and welcome to High Caliber TV, your source for figure and model updates every Wednesday and Friday. So as you can see, these are the jersey barriers from the Hobby Fan Kit. This is for my little mini project while I'm working on the jig for the Abrams tracks. So here we've got the na naked concrete jersey barrier layer done. And I added some pastel work, some pigments from Life Color. They actually went on really well, which was cool. This is my first time using Life Color pigments. And I also blended the acrylic colors using a, an acrylic retarder, which allows you to blend up so it, it gets darker in the central areas and lighter on the top, blah, blah, blah. You know the deal. A little bit of edge highlighting using more Citadel. And what's going to happen is I'm going to spray these with uh, this stuff. And uh, it's uh, the Ultra Fine Mist variation. So this will allow me to spray on two coats, they say in tank art. I'm going off of the Rinaldi method that he uses in tank art number one. And if you can find that book, it's pretty rare. But if you can find it, get it. It doesn't matter what it costs, just get it. It's the German one especially has so much fantastic insight. Uh, I can't wait for the modern armor to come out. So yeah, so I'm going to spray that two coats on here and we'll be back when those are dry. Stick around. So this is post hairspray drying and then I sprayed on opaque yellow and opaque black both from Medea. I use Medea because you can spray it right out of the bottle. It's designed for airbrushes and it goes on quite fragile. So I figured that that on top of the hairspray stuff would actually come out fairly well. So the lines aren't perfect, but I was just going for the general look. Uh, I used a straight edge that I made, as you can see, out of a live resin box, and I just cut the corners there so I could sort of walk it along and create the black lines. Yeah. So now we're going to take some water and a brush and create the weathering effects. Stick around. So here is the base post chipping and I added some edge highlights along where the sun would catch, which really sort of makes this three-dimensional. And I just used a mix of Screaming Skull and Administratum Gray, so a, a tan and a very light gray to create the, the highlight color. And that, yeah, turned out all right. It looks absolutely, absolutely vile. Uh, they haven't been kept up very well but they are just pieces of the environment. They aren't essential equipment, so yeah. So far so good, and now I'm gonna give everything a coat of flat and then move on to the base part, the, the dirt, the road, whatever. And then we'll move on to oils and pastels and pigments, etc. So thanks very much for watching this sort of down and dirty tutorial. This is my first attempt at the hairspray method, so it seemed to go all right. I went sort of vertical in the central areas and horizontal around the edges and such. Check us out at highcaliberminiatures.com. I'll put the link in the description below. Follow us on Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter for the usual social media stuff, workbench updates on stuff like this, and new stock, etc. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.